well done on wanting to buy your first or your second three season backpacking tent. But what exactly do I want? Where on earth do I start looking? What are some of the common mistakes though that I need to avoid? And what exactly is a good tent? There's a ton of really good tents out on the market right now and some of them are very good and they'll be more than suitable for you. And therein lies the confusion. And it of course begs the question, what is the best tent for you? To answer that question though, there's probably a few other questions you need to answer before that, and here they are. So the first question you wanna ask is, who's going in the tent? Is it you, or one, or perhaps two others? Where are you planning on taking the tent? Perhaps near a hut, or totally unplugged from others? When do you plan to use it? Is it mainly in good weather, or could it be when it's windy and or wet? How often do you think you'll use the tent each season? What's an acceptable weight you want to carry? And also, what's your budget? As a general rule, here's some numbers that you may want to pay attention to that'll really help narrow down the ideal tent that's best for you. So in terms of adequate space for a taller, perhaps broader person, I'd suggest two square meters on the inside. And if you've got another person, another one square meter adding up to three square meters would be perfect. In terms of keeping the water out, on the fly you want at least 2,000 meter hydrostatic head and on the floor something closer to 5,000 is great and ideally anything higher on these numbers is even better. When it comes to weight for a one person tent, man the, the weights can range from anything from 400 grams right up to about uh, 2 kgs. So I'd suggest for a uh, one person tent around about 1.5, 1.7 kgs is probably good and for a two person tent something that's around 2.2 kgs or less is ideal. When it comes to price, man, the sky is literally the limit. But I'd suggest for your first three season tent, look around the three to $400 range or less. Now, in terms of extras, there's things like guy lines and pegs. Not all manufacturers include all guy lines and pegs, so check that out. Aluminium poles because of their lightness and their strength to weight ratio. Good ventilation points is obviously really important. Uh, having enough vestible space for all of your gear and that you can cook in if needed. Also, does it include a footprint? And also, is there enough headroom so you can sit up in it and change? And also, the color may be important to you as it is to me. If you like these types of tenting videos, and of course would love to see more, I'd love to be able to give you more. So if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, that'll make sure that you don't miss out. And there's just one problem though. As you get into this and you look through your criteria, you'll soon discover that there is a struggle. There's a struggle between saving and sacrifice. Let me explain what I mean. On one hand, you want to save on price, but then you realize you may have to sacrifice on quality. On one hand, you want to save on weight, but then you realize, oh, I've got to compromise on strength. You want to save on bulk in your pack, but then you realize you've got to sacrifice on space and comfort. So you've really got to decide what are the things you must have, and also what are the things that you'd ideally like to have, but don't necessarily have to have. Some common mistakes and pitfalls you want to avoid are, assuming that the commonly known brands are better tents, which isn't always the case. Another one is thinking that the floor plan is the actual space you have to use on the inside, which it isn't, mainly because the tent on the sides or the end will slope in, which will restrict the amount of usable space you have. Buying a tent that's far stronger, heavier, and more expensive than you ever need is also a common mistake. And lastly, thinking that the manufacturer's published weights of a certain tent include everything. Sometimes they don't include some guy lines and or some pegs. Although this is the first backpacking tent I ever bought and I've used it a lot, I've actually got right now eight shh, backpacking tents. And why is that? Because I can use the best tent for the trip I'm about to go on. Of course though, a tent isn't the only backpacking shelter option you have. What about a hammock that you can put between a couple of trees? What about a lightweight tarp that you can drape over yourself that you can use with your trekking poles? Or perhaps even a bivy bag? 
I've never used a hammock, a, a tarp, or a bivvy bag, but to be honest, I really enjoy being able to have my own space, my home away from home as it were, and to be able to enclose myself and keep the elements out, keep insects out, and also, I remember one night, I was in my tent, and I could hear something rustling in my vegetable. I opened up the door, looked out, and here were these two eyes looking at me. That's why I like to have my own enclosed space for those reasons. I hope you've enjoyed this video and hopefully it's helped to define the type of tent that you want to get next. And I'd love to be able to hear what that tent is, so please put it in the comments to give the end of the questions that you have. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, you know exactly what to do. I'd love to have you on the team. So until I see you in the next action-packed, awesome and slightly humorous video, all the best team, bye.